Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Janae or Bones as Collateral on TikTok and Instagram. Fashion is weird. There is a lot going on, but here is where we gather to learn about it, talk about it, and kind of break down some of the runway shows that we've been seeing. So Okator Week for Spring Summer 2023 came and went, and of course there are some key viral moments that everyone is talking about, including Doja Cat. She came to the Scaparelli show wearing a red ensemble with a full head of crystals, which maybe we'll get into in another video. But Scaparelli is always at the top of my list. The house opened Couture Week with what feels like just invincible technique and viral surrealism that had even Kylie Jenner wearing a taxidermy lion head on her chest. Another show that blasted me into a cosmic fairy tale dimension, that's the only way I can think of explaining it, is Raoul Mishra. This Couture collection and his prior show was just so extravagant to say the least. Each look was so self-indulgent, leaning into the idea of how Okator can be this romantic fantasy, and that's how I look at it. I see Couture Week as a week of glamour and imagination, an indulgence for us to get a glimpse of what the 1% can afford. And on that note of fantasy, Victor and Rolf presented their own distorted version of a Cinderella story for spring, summer 2023. So I wanted to get into that. The show opens up with these three looks that give the audience the impression that we're in for a lovely, soft, enchanting couture show, perfect for the debutante princess that likes pastel colors. We see these ball gown silhouettes in their most traditional form, but if you know Victor and Rolf, you know that they embrace traditions while also in the same breath dismantling its very existence. We saw this last year in their fall 2022 couture show, taking traditional suiting and exaggerating the scales of the shoulders. And it feels like every season, they ask themselves the same question. How can we experiment with the way that these garments sit and take shape on the body? When can clothes take on a life of their own separate from the host wearing them? So when we come back to this recent couture show, it's no surprise that by the fourth look, Victor and Rolf are experimenting with those notions. These ball gowns are quite literally separating themselves from the models as if they would like to walk away and have their own experience. When speaking to Vogue after the show, Victor and Rolf mentioned the warped sense of reality that we're all experiencing because of the internet. It's so seamless and accessible for anyone to distort their face, distort their body, distort the color of the pants that they're wearing in a photo. It's so easy to edit the truth now and the designers mentioned, and I quote, there is a disconnect between what we see and the physicality of the product, end quote. And here I find that Victor and Rolf are just playing with that distortion and bringing it to life. To me, it's like Victor and Rolf are saying, all of that editing that you've been doing on your phone, okay, so here's what it would look like to move things around in real life. You wanna rotate that photo in your phone 90 degrees? Well, this is what distorted perfection looks like in real life. The title of the show was Late Stage Capitalism Waltz. And when I came home after watching the show, I made a voice note and that is how I take notes on fashion. I have no one to talk to about fashion, so I make voice notes. Here is a clip of some thoughts that I had on the title of the show. Okay, so I saw that Victor and Rolf titled the couture show that just came out, Late Stage Capitalism Waltz. And I think that's very interesting because what I understand late capitalism to be is this kind of poking fun at the absurdity and the hypocrisy of the whole modern capitalism system. Like, for example, when a multi-billion dollar fashion company who's known to have sweatshops decides that they're going to run a campaign about how they care about clean water and they care about saving the children. You know, it's kind of like, why are we lying to each other? What What's really happening here? You know, and I think late stage capitalism is just like this awareness that this is not working for all of us, right? It's only working for the 1%. I find it fitting that Victor and Rolf are addressing this because every season, it feels as though they are fashion artists that 
are aware of the role that they play within the industry, whether it's good or bad. There is a constant commentary on politics, culture, the state of the world, and the part that they play. And I think that even the title, waltzing, you know, waltzing is a dance, right? And they're constantly teetering between how absurd it is that they are creating a Couture show for the 1% while also being in love with the industry that has given them this artistic freedom to put on shows like this and create these viral shocking messages. Being a part of the fashion industry is a waltz. It is a dance. It's absurd, but it's also fun. It's unnecessary, but it can also give way to impactful messages. And it's like Victor and Rolf are constantly just battling with this and trying to put their best foot forward and use couture to have this artistic freedom that they've been yearning for. I think that's why they stepped away from ready to wear in the first place because of the confines that put them in. So it's like, how do how do we continue to make clothes even though like all of this is happening? Um, and I just really enjoy their work. I think that voice note encompasses everything that I wanted to say about Victor and Rolf for this video. Um, thank you for watching this all the way through. I think that Victor and Rolf continue to surprise us every season and we need artists that are willing to go there and celebrities that are willing to wear it and Doja Cat falls under that category. So thank you for watching this video. Um, I will see you in the next one. I will link all of my social medias down below if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram and I will see you in the next analysis. Bye.